Hello and welcome to this video series. My name is John McKeown and I am the CEO and founder of Allergy Standards Limited. And first of all, I'd like to say thank you for watching this video. Uh, hopefully you are an interested consumer with an interest in products for people with asthma and allergy. Perhaps you're a retailer who's looking into this area for the first time or even a physician uh, or a manufacturer who makes products that potentially could be helpful to people with asthma and allergies. And what I'm going to do in today's video is take you through the very beginning of the certification program, talk a little bit about the science, um, and really the story behind why I set up the company and the history of, of that decision and where the whole concept of the program came from. So the story goes right back to actually when I was a medical student. Uh, I'm an ER physician by training and when I was studying paediatrics, particularly with, uh, with regards to kids with asthma and allergies, I noticed that the mums of the kids with asthma and allergies were very hungry or interested to get information from their healthcare professionals, the, the doctors, the nurses, and all the other allied health professionals. And it really resolves around this concept of trigger factors. Now, trigger factors are certain things in our environment, in our outdoor environment, or in our indoor environment, that may actually trigger off or exacerbate symptoms of people with allergic asthma and other allergic conditions. Now, a lot of these triggers are, as I say, related to our indoor environment. And they can be avoided by using common sense measures. And when doctors bring mums through this concept, uh, they're very interested in this because it gives a lot of power back to patients and the mums of patients that they can be proactive and actually optimize their indoor environment by selecting products that are less likely to trigger their symptoms. They have certain suitability criteria or performance criteria that makes them a better choice. So when doctors bring patients through the story here of certain types of, say, for example, formaldehyde, that's a well-known chemical irritant and potentially sensitizing agent that is often put into textiles to, perform, to improve textile performances. So mums would write down this concept of formaldehyde as something to look out for on labeling when they're buying textile products. You're probably also very familiar with the concept of dust mite and dust mite allergen um, being a trigger for people with symptoms and people with asthma and people particularly with allergic asthma and allergic to dust mite allergen should avoid the buildup of dust mite allergen in their environment. So that would include choosing certain types of vacuum cleaners, certain types of bedding with allergen filtration properties that can be washed at certain temperatures and so forth. And people love this concept of getting information. The challenge arises though is that even once you have the information, we all know now that Google exists and we can Google lots and lots of information about how to lose weight or how to do more exercise. The challenge isn't the information. The challenge is once you know is how, how do you act on that? And that's what we describe in the certification program as actionable insights. The information isn't the issue, it's how do you use that information when you leave the doctor or the nurse's uh, office and go out to, to choose products. And that's the concept of the certification mark. What we have done is we've selected scientific, evidence-based criteria for a number of household products throughout the home that actually can be shown and demonstrated through science to be more suitable either because they're constituents or the suitability criteria or the way that they function achieves our performance criteria. And we've taken a, a number of products around the home and designed scientific evidence-based protocols for these products. And when they meet the suitability criteria, they're awarded with a certification mark, our certification symbol, which is a registered certification mark through a number of countries in the world. And that certification mark is put on the labeling of the product. And that tells people that the product has passed our various criteria for this particular product category. Now, we've designed a number of certification protocols and testing methodologies for all products throughout the home. Uh, for every room in the house is the way we like to think about it. Because it really is, once you, you 
you get behind this concept of avoiding triggers is a behavioral change and a lifestyle approach for all products and all rooms in your home. So products we would certify, for example, might be vacuum cleaners and other electrical appliances like air cleaners, as well as textile products and products for the bedroom. They would include things like pillows and uh, pillow encasings, duvets, comforters and other textile products. And then cleaning products such as uh, the various uh, products for cleaning your floor and other services. And then on to building materials such as floor covering, paint and, and insulation. And they're actually the subject of various uh, scientific video series that we'll do later and later. And in this series, I'll actually address each one of those products and go a bit deeper into the science, how we test those products and what the criteria are and how they um, are actually tested in the laboratory. So I hope you enjoyed that very, very quick taster video uh, as an introduction to the program. And then there'll be a series of links leading, leading on for you to find out a bit more about the certification program. And in the next video in the series, what I'm gonna go through is actually bring you through the various phases of how we test products um, in what we call the kind of the three rules where we look at the kind of chemical uh, issues related to the products and irritancy, its physical attributes of how the product actually performs, and then particularly its performance with regards to allergens and its ability to trap or indeed its ability to remove allergens. So in the meantime, uh, we'd love for you to uh, follow us on social media. Uh, the links will be coming up on the screen uh, and there you can get tons and tons of content about the certification program and also subscribe to our newsletter where we send out um, information on a regular basis with updates to our science and standards. So until the next video, um, I look forward to talking to you then.